What's up YouTube? It's NG and I'm back. And today I'm into the Surface Duo once again. In my search to make my Microsoft Duo my own, I happened upon the Google Play Store and decided to check on the Microsoft launcher itself. See if there were any new features, any updates that I could uh, download to improve the software of the Duo. This is what I saw. So this is odd. Microsoft Launcher is actually incompatible with the Surface Duo. Makes no sense to me because the Surface Duo is supposedly running Microsoft Launcher. Albeit a tweaked version of it, I'm sure. But still. Microsoft Launcher Beta. This isn't compatible. Weird. Hmm. Now, on Reddit today, I saw that someone there had posted the update for the Surface Duo Microsoft launcher. So I said, let me see. Let me just see what this is all about. And sure enough, on, at, on the Microsoft webpage itself, they had the APK for the Microsoft launcher for this device, and it worked. So in the Play Store, it doesn't register as this device is on the Microsoft launcher, so you can't update it. But if you go directly to Microsoft, there is indeed an update to the Microsoft launcher for the Surface Duo. And let me tell you, though it may be small, the improvements are there. Now, let me sh show you where I found it at. I took a screenshot of it. Oh, that's right. Now, there's it right here. Service Duo on Reddit. Now, this is, isn't for you to try and read. I will post this link uh, somewhere below the video. But it is a link to update the launcher for Service Duo directly from Microsoft. Now, the first thing that I notice when I did install this update for the l l l launcher everything moves more smooth it's not as jagged the movement is way more crisp now that the update it is there also going through the uh, apps that are stored in uh, the app switcher Everything again is just smoother. A lot of the hiccups that were there aren't as relevant. The, it seems to have fixed some of the bugs. Things are more re, re responsive. The second thing that I saw, if you can take a look at my app here, is it's, it's no longer a transparent background. There is a background to match the app here. So Spotify has the black, Instagram has the pink, YouTube has the white, Words with Friends has the purple. Really a nice little uh, touch there. Now I'm with the settings, it's something that I saw that I'm not quite sure if it was there before or not. But in the settings, right up top, set night light schedule and choose your wall paper right there for you to go into. Don't know if that was there before or not, I really don't remember, but I per personally don't remember seeing those two buttons there. Um, uh, nothing that was fixed, at least from my testing, the camera. Know how it did not turn off, and the, f the switch from back to front Seems to work. Well, 
seems to work most of the, the time now. Be, before the camera would or it wouldn't, sometimes fast, some sometimes slow, but for the most part, the camera switch, they've worked out some of those bugs with the, gy the gyroscope. It seems to know what position it is in most of the, th the time. It's nice to see that Microsoft is actually trying to do something about these well-known bugs with the Duo. Just these little things that they have done with this little update makes it a more enjoyable experience than it was a few hours ago when, before I knew about this update at all. Everything just runs more smooth. Uh, I did uh, go into the gesture controls because I, I don't know if you n noticed I switched mine to buttons. I was never a big fan of the gestures on anything. On all of my devices, I pretty much have the button layout. Call me old school if uh, you will. But uh, if you go in to it, there it is. It works, even that seems to work better. Maybe it's me, I don't know, but things just seem to flow easy, easier. The janks, as they called, called, called it before, aren't there. The hiccups aren't there. Things move and flow as they were meant to, at least most of the time now. I've been going through the UI here, and I haven't had any, or not many issues, what, one or two hiccups the whole time. Before, it was way more than that. Way more. Spoke, spoke too soon. The camera didn't want to go, go away. But, I found that really nice. Things are just more or less, well, not more, more or less, they do work better now. Let me go back to my preferred uh, way to control my phone. I mean, I just like having the bun. It just works. Now, a, another thing that I found with the Duo is that there is a beta to the Swift Key keyboard found on the Surface Duo. Now. It's just in the the Play Store, so if if you want to go take a a quick look there, uh, you will find Swift Key, and you can theme it. You are able to make a custom keyboard. I'm pretty sure those were all there before, but one thing I'm sure it was not there before. Let me just type this. I typed the word quiet, but that's not the big thing here. You are now able to hold the keyboard and use the whole thing as a trackpad for what you are trying to write. Let's go into a better example here. What I'm pretty sure SwiftKey did, did not have is this. I'm now able to scroll through what I'm trying to write. Do you, you see that? This makes it so much easy, easier to go through text and pinpoint that one misplaced letter and just easily make the correction. So there is an update to uh, SwiftKey that I think many uh, of you uh, could appreciate. Last thing that I found out there was a method of making the speaker, a single mono speaker on the Duo, better. Now, it was another guy on Reddit, and he told us to download two specific apps. 
nothing crazy at all. Volume booster. And let's see if I can find it here. Base boost 20. 20. Now, from there, let me go into my pictures here. Uh, where, 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 where. Here we go. From here, when we apply these settings and adjusted the base boost, it actually did increase the performance of the mono speaker. Is it perfect? Oh, by no means. Not at all. Phones and my earbuds and my Bluetooth speakers whenever I use this. But if I have to use this speaker, th those two apps and those little tweaks that he did to the equalizer and the volume boost really did improve the performance of this little speaker right here. So I just, just wanted to share that there are improvements coming to the duo if you happen to have one you are more than capable of taking advantage of these little tweaks it's just downloads from various sites and adjustments that can be made and they're not hard and once you do them I am sure you will see the Im improvements immediately, especially in the responsiveness of the Duo Microsoft Launcher UI. It just feels better. It moves better. And all of the hiccups that were there have pretty much been rectified, at least for the most part. I won't lie and say they don't come up, but the frequency of those bugs is less so much so you can actually enjoy using this device more so now than you did when you first got the device but a, a week ago so with that said my name is ng the neon x and the service duo this is what i'm into